Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in this video I want to give you a few tips on how you can make your MT4 platform much more efficient so that it doesn't impact your computer resources too, too much and also does not slow your computer down. Now we design and test hundreds of EAs every year and it is very important that our NT4 platforms run at optimal resource efficiency. And it's also important to you, if you're using it on a laptop or an older desktop, you will certainly see decreases in your computer processing times. So I'm going to give you two tips that will reduce your MT4 resource requirement on your computer by up to 80%. And don't think, oh, I don't need to watch this video because mine is uh, performing quite well. Believe me, it is using much more resource than it should. So on your screen, you can see a brand new Blueberry Markets demo account that I've just downloaded. This is typical of what you'll see when you open a demo account with any particular broker. Okay, so the first thing we do is we go and look at the market watch window. I'm just going to close the irrelevant ones for now. And, and what you'll see is there are lots of trading symbols you can choose from and it goes right down and some brokers have indexes. Some brokers even have their share portfolio on this particular market watch window. Now, what you don't realize is that your MT4 platform is updating all of these instruments all of the time using the one minute, five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hour, daily, weekly, and monthly time frames. So as the currencies get updated, your computer is gathering all this information and it is storing that history on your computer. So firstly, it is placing a big strain on your computer because it is updating the prices in real time on all of your time frames. Secondly, it is loading a lot of junk onto your computer as history. So what we do is we say, all right, we only want to, let's say, test these three, or these four currencies that are on the chart at the moment, which is the euro, the pound, the franc, and the yen. So all I do is I go right click on the, on that, uh, next to that symbol. It then says hide all, show all symbols, all that type of thing. I just say hide all. So now immediately you have eliminated all of the unnecessary instruments and they are no longer updating the your computer not taking your computer's resources to firstly update and then load all that information into the history files in the background so this is just a tip that we that, that I'm giving you that has increased our ability to load lots of platforms MT4 platforms for our testing and monitoring accounts. If we had all of this on all of our platforms, uh, in fact, our computers do fall over. They fall over, there's too much stress from MT4 if we don't do this particular step. Now, you might say, I'm gonna use other symbols. So you can select your symbols. You just go, um, you can see how many symbols there are. You go into Forex, let's say you want to uh, add the Aussie. You just say, add, highlight the Aussie and say show. You close it and suddenly the Aussie is there. So you can now be selective about the currencies you want to have a look at. And you can deselect the ones you don't want to look at. Right now, that alone is going to save an incredible demand on your computer resources that is made by MT4. The next thing you can do, and this is a, just a minor one, and it's more of a long-term one, you go into Tools and you look, go into Options. And if you are just trading... In other words, you're not back trading if, uh, essentially and all that type of thing. If you are just trading normally, you do not need so much history on your charts. So I actually go down from half a million bars. I only go down to 5,000 bars. And the same thing here, 
from from four, uh, 65,000 bars, I only go down to, that means that the MT4 platform will only store 5,000 bars on your charts. And that will also reduce the resource requirement are placed on your computer or laptop by MT4. There are some other ways of even reducing resources even further, but the, the, these are the quick fix, low hanging fruit that you can make big improvements very quickly. Now, I hope you found this video interesting and I hope that what you have learned today will improve your computer's performance when loading your MT4 platforms onto it. From me, Alex Aproi, cheerio.